What's up traders, Marco here from elementaryfx.com for a weekly analysis video. Alright, so let's get started. Um, before, before we actually get into every single analysis, I do want to explain what happened this weekend. Okay, so basically um, on Friday our price was, actu price was actually going normally as usual all right as you can see but on sunday french election made price jump for a lot of peeps and create a gap right here okay mostly e those french elections uh created a gap on really a lot of euro pairs and even on some usd pairs all right I do want to um, actually give some information about uh, price gaps, all right? Since we are technical analysis play, uh, traders, I do want to give you some infos, okay? Let's say, let's say this was uh, last week price, all right? And let's say this is the price where it is after the weekend all right so we basically have the gap okay this is the gap okay between the two prices so basically um what is um the efficiency or what is the pattern about gaps basically price actually after the gap follows maybe uh, the trend of the gap for some time all right and after the after some it will actually retrace to actually close this size of price all right this is the pattern all right um, this retrace this uh, con this trend continuation uh, can happen, uh, but also cannot happen. Uh, it really depends if there are FIBO confluences, if there are channels and such things. You know, we still have to take it in consideration, though. But at, in the end of the story, uh, price gapping, which is this one, okay, has a really, really, really high. Uh, success ratio okay because uh, I don't know why uh, I can't find anywhere on internet on books that why it, why actually price wants to close this section it's just written that price is just curious about the market and he just goes to untested areas all right so you basically want to close the gap Okay, save that. I want we I will start with the first pair we are going to review, which is EURUSD. Okay, as you can see, uh, EURUSD uh, price was here on Friday, and after the weekend, spiked up right here. Okay, this blue line is not a resistance. Okay. It is actually a dynamic channel, okay, or dynamic resistance, call it uh, how, how you want. And being near, uh, the price being near to the channel after the gap uh, actually made me think that we should play it like a normal price action, okay. So price touch the tunnels and when and we know when price touches the channel we focus on the other side as you can see here touch we focus lower here touch we focus higher all right so basically price was here and we basically focus on the lower side of the channel all right now price is in a consolidation right now but i do think it will go lower again we s we are 25 pips profit and basically that was our analysis um, 
I do I do want actually to close all the gap as you can see here but I'm focusing first on this level because it, it is a 618 feeble level so I will focus this first and maybe if everything goes well I will let run the price okay but anyway that's the explanation and most of, most of the pages we are gonna review today uh, the explanation is basically this one okay just because we have a pattern with uh, a really high success rate uh, we want to actually follow the, that pattern alright so that was USD we just f we hit the channel and we focus lower and we also have a gap we have two things that makes us happy okay the second one Euro Yen okay now Euro Yen it's kinda the same of Euro USD but the point is that we don't actually have any channel touch but we actually have a FIBO confluence which is a 618 FIBO confluence as you can see here price gapped right here touched 618 starting retesting it as you can see it's retested okay now it's creating a flag or a pennant well it is more a pennant as you can see if I delete this one it is a pennant all right that actually broke it and retested it so we do expect lower movements through uh, the gap closing okay I'm gonna keep the line because I need that for future thoughts but for now that's the analysis uh, price gapped and it's gonna retrace uh, at least I would say to this level to this spike at least for sure it will retrace here I don't know if it will retrace completely right here maybe it could go even lower touching this channel but for now we will focus this level all right as you can see gap I've written here gap price will react reach it sooner or later that's our focus okay uh, it is 32 pips in profit and it is actually going down I think it is actually going down yes as you can see pendant broke it retested and going down okay if we see a nice breakout on the on this channel this flag channel all right up below the 0.5 feeble level it means that it is going really down a lot all right that is our euro yen trade usd cad okay uh i've made a video about the trading journal on usd cad and the other pairs so if you wanna really see my trades go check the other video uh, I'm not spoiling you but I made a lot of profits all right so let's get the bigger the biggest view here okay basically we are in a channel the pink one which is this one okay uh, you can also spot those um, how it's called uh, super levels all right and we had a flag pattern all right so we have a pull flag retracement and with this pattern we do expect an upper breakout to the completion of this level which is the length of the pull all right why it is good trading this because uh it actually risk price actually respected all the channels as you can see there is the touch there is the touch 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 breakout okay and and in the end uh in the start of this week okay price actually you can see there is a little gap right here all right you can see there is a little gap right here which was this one all right price instantly instantly uh closed it and continue to its uh, route, normal route. All right. So yeah. price was going down. Okay. Price gapped, closed it, and continued. All right. So 
let's focus on our analysis. Basically, um, price broke through the blue channel to the blue flag, so we do expect to reach to price to reach this point. Okay, so we went higher, testing the pink channel, which is the bigger one. So we do, you do expect some retracement from it because it is the major channel. So you do expect retracement from it. All right went lower, retesting the blue channel and then he entered the trade uh, stop loss was based on this really nice support as you can see the support, support, resistance, support, resistance resistance, 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 resistance uh, and so on, okay I entered long and we've, we basically had two focuses the first one was uh, the completion or the retest of the pink channel and the second one was the how it's called the uh, extension of the feeble level all right and the flagpole unfortunately I uh, I closed the trade right below the pink channel retest because when price actually reached at this point it created a lot of dodges as you can see and I closed it because I thought okay price is gonna retrace for some and then gain momentum maybe retrace to this level okay and then going higher so I thought I could make some profits there safe profits and I closed it now as you can see price is breaking the pink channel and probably probably it will do something like this one two three all right it will retest the channel sooner or later and i want to enter long again when price will retest the channel okay it, it, it could also go straight up without even retesting it's fine uh we played safe it's still fine we missed so we missed a lot of profits but it's still fine we played safe uh, I'm late for entering long now because as you can see there are like 27 pips higher, 28 pips higher and it's still going so I do expect a retrace sooner or later and when the retrace will happen I'm gonna go long, alright? That is USD CAD, let's go on to USD Yen Okay, so USD Yen, uh, that was our trade of of last week which has cr actually closed in profit, in profit of 135 pips um, I didn't actually uh, played or traded the gap right here because we didn't have mm, many FIBO confluences but we, all, we just had basically these resistance levels so it was a bit risky even, even if it's a um, a uh, higher success rate uh, pattern I I really didn't have many clues if price would have went higher and then closed the gap later so I didn't really have played it uh, yeah I'm missing some profits I'm missing a lot of profits because it was a let's say a 100 pip trade but I think the right decision was to not do it because price could could just maybe went higher okay from here to actually test this level okay or even this level as you can see there is a nice level right here okay as you can see there is resistance 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 okay it could have also went higher and then broke below it so i didn't have many clues i played safe and i didn't trade but I do expect um, price to actually close the gap and then maybe, maybe, and I'll say maybe because we still have to see if price will actually follow his routine like two weeks ago routine and touch the other, the other side of the channel, okay? So maybe we want to go long when price will close the gap, all right? And that is dollar yen. 
let's go on dollars risk track okay as you can see another pair with the gap all right this is the gap you can see it really well let me zoom in okay do you see this this was the last candle and this is the gap okay 50 pips gap okay price hit the channel as you can see and spiked up re tested the channel and then went higher i traded that i had my evidence of the channel touch so i traded it okay and actually got 35 pips now i do expect price to actually maybe break higher from this flat pattern all right and test these higher high because you know we have a pull and we do we do respect patterns all right so we have a pull plus a flag retrace maybe it's it's just too much of a, re of a flag retrace okay it's too uh going too much lower but anyway we do we do respect our patterns and we want to focus this this way okay i played really safe right here because there is a huge resistance as you can see resistance resistance here and if you go on the left there is a lot of resistance as you can see okay so i played really safe those were 35 free pips without effort and that's it okay gbp usd basically gbp usd uh it's in a strange uh, moment right now okay basically you can spot let me get a bigger view basically you can spot a really nice channel as you can see so you have a bearish momentum consolidation another bearish momentum consolidation all right and now we do have a breakout on the higher side the point of this breakout is that uh, here price is really, really uncertain to where to go. Okay, uh, because if we would follow the rules, okay, after the breakout, we do expect a retrace to retesting the channel. All right, we do expect it after a, a really nice breakout we do expect our channel retest okay the point is that as you can see okay it made a breakout but uh, there is a really nice tight and really precise flag right here okay and we all know that flags should go higher with the flag pull okay so Let's say let's say this is our flag pull, all right. This is our flag pull, and we do expect maybe price to reach this point. Oh, sorry. Okay, we do expect price to reach this point, but it's uh it's really not confluencing with our other theory of retesting the channel, right? so for now uh, i really don't know don't want to trade it i really don't know what the fuck is it is going to do if price is gonna break out higher or lower maybe i will trade it okay maybe if price will break out higher than this maybe higher than this higher high okay i'm gonna go long while if price actually breaks lower than this i will go lower retesting at least this blue channel okay at least or the other one i don't know let's see i think that's everything and yeah i think that's everything uh i'm marco from elementaryfx.com that was a weekly preview of all the trades we're gonna take and if you have comments write a comment in the video section read the comment section or go on our site 
elementaryfx.com and you will see everything. That's everything for today. See ya traders and good luck. Bye bye.